Hey Soul Family, Anastasia Louise here and today you are coming thrifting with me and we're going to enjoy a nice cup of fall tea over a thrift haul. Let's get into it. Cheers. Anastasia's first car. She's giving it a test ride. I kind of chewed off the top of this. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't take her out to lunch yet. Maps. Maps. Look at that yes. picture. Wait. They don't love you like they love you. You know what I'm singing? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's how I should have said. Food. Refrigerators everywhere. Whoa. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, cool it, man. Our lips are sealed. Oh, I thought it was I believe her. What? It's our lips are sealed. <laughs> I don't know the lyrics. You're gonna need that because that was a big burn. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. I didn't realize the footage stopped rolling. Huh? Silly me. I hope you guys enjoyed those few little snippets of thrifting with me and my boyfriend Ashton. Make sure to give him some love down below for vlogging me and vlogging for me because we are both pretty awkward individuals, especially when it comes to vlogging and, you know, life. So yeah, send some love down below and we'll just jump right into this thrift haul. I guess we'll start off with skirts. As a vegan at the thrift stores, I always check the tags to make sure it's not silk, wool, or leather, or anything that's animal-based. So yes, I absolutely fell in love with this bad boy. It reminds me of pumpkins. It reminds me of leaves. It just screams fall, and I really cannot wait to style it. Um, I actually wore it to Enchanted Forest with my friend Kaylee, and we had a magical time. And the whole time, I just felt like a pumpkin on Cinderella. Um, because I wore a blue lazy top with it, so it just reminded me of the carriage and me as Cinderella. The next skirt is this bad boy. It is floral and vintage and it has pockets, which I absolutely adore on dresses and skirts. It has buttons going all the way up, which is just such a treat. Look at these pockets. Look at those buttons. So cute. The next item I want to share with you guys is this gorgeous plum color slip dress that I found in the lingerie slash nightgown section, which I know a lot of people steer clear from. Do not be afraid to search the lingerie section. Yes, no one wants to buy used undies or anything like that, but they have really, really cute slips and nightgowns and things like that that you can totally wear in everyday life if you choose to. I, myself, Love the lingerie section just because I love lacy, frilly, girly things. The next item that I picked up is this button up baby pink floral blouse that is a bit oversized but works with high waisted items when you tie it at the waist. I just fell in love with the color to be honest. I've been really loving baby pinks and just soft colors. I'm not much of a bright person but I still like color. I also picked up this vintage-esque t-shirt that has a record on it 
It does have a few stains, but it works. It was only a dollar, so I'm going to throw some bleach on it and just like make it, you know, distressed, cut some holes in it, maybe crop it and wear it as a crop top. I'm not exactly sure if you guys have any opinions or would like to see what the outcome is. Leave a comment down below or just like tell me on Twitter or something. Next. So when I found this next item, I was super, super excited because it is a true vintage find and it is this vintage dress that fits like a gym. It is floral and monochrome and it has a cute little tie at the top that I fell in love with. As you can tell, it fits like a gym, although it is a tad bit short for my taste. I'm still going to work with it because of how adorable it is. but. Uh, yeah, I'm not the type that likes my butt cheeks hanging out of things. I know it's in trend, and I know a lot of people like it. I'm not dissing anyone, but um, you'll never say hello to my butt cheeks. Probably ever. So um, I guess I'll just say hi to yours. I also found another vintage piece, which is this gorgeous blouse that has a floral detailed collar, buttons, pink buttons to be exact, and even the sleeves have floral detailing. During the fall time, I always break out all of my collars and super vintage finds and put away my lacy items, my flowy items, but it's honestly bittersweet because I absolutely adore both seasons. It's just, you know, like I said, bittersweet. Now the last few items I want to share with you guys are home decor items. The first I shared on Instagram and was super excited about it, and then a few days later, it fell to the ground. And let me tell you, it was a sad day. Honestly, because when I found this, I was so excited, it was so unique, and it was made by an individual, like it was legitimate, unique piece. And this is the beauty that I literally had to super glue together. This whole part was broken. This was cut in half. So it is kind of danky looking now, but I still absolutely love it. And I'm still going to try to figure out how to hang you on the wall because now you don't got anything to hang. The next and last home decor piece that I'm going to share with you guys today are these adorable gold vintage hummingbird wall decor pieces. If you guys have been following me from the beginning, you know that my wall used to have a bunch of wall decor birds all over it, and they just reminded me of my old bedroom. I figured I would pick them up, and I'm actually going to be selling these on my Depop shop, as well as a few other vintage finds, and some items that I just want out of my closet because I've worn them way too much, and now it's time to pass the love and magic on to another. If you guys want to buy my items, or shop my closet, I should say, um, I'll have my Depop shop linked down below. I love, love, love Depop. It's such a great app, honestly. Like, you can buy, sell, and trade anything on there. I absolutely love selling my things and then buying new things. It's kind of like recycling, and it's, it's awesome. So yeah, I'll have that link down below. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving it a big old thumbs up. I know a lot of YouTubers say that, but it honestly helps me out a lot with knowing if you guys like the content that I'm creating and everything like that. Um, and also, if you guys have any video suggestions or wants and needs, leave them down below and, you know, maybe you'll see it in the future. Also, I wanted to share with you guys some exciting news, at least for me. I will be having an upload schedule, finally, so you guys will know when to expect my face in your feed. So yeah, I'll be announcing that in my next video, so stay tuned. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day, and until next time, bye!